alternative will be a far worse economic crisis with protracted closure from international markets, including imported goods and services, and further domestic economic instability, both for the real economy and the financial sector. It would also mean depleted fiscal resources to support the neediest. Ghana is not the first nation to undertake such domestic debt operation. To illustrate the point, let me cite examples of just two countries among many others in the last decade. Jamaica resorted to such operations in the past, notably in 2010 and 2013. In both cases, it shows the sense of responsibility of the American people and proceeded through a voluntary approach. The approach was highly successful as more than 99% of holders of domestic bonds participated in the exchange. On the contrary, in the case of Greece, the authorities chose to undertake a coercive approach whereby a law was passed to force people into participating. We intend to avoid as much as possible the Greek approach as we strive to reach a consensual solution with our bondholders, which really is the Ghanaian way. In any case, the good news is that the domestic debt exchange has yielded positive results both in Greece and Jamaica and many others, and will certainly put our economy on a much stronger footing. Greece, as you know, has now recovered full market assets. We certainly anticipate a similar success story in Ghana. I want to assure you about the government's commitment to do what is necessary to ensure that we succeed.